Hi, this is Gaurav Mishra from the Fossology project. Today I'll show you uh, how to install Fossology from source code. So if you head over to the GitHub page for Fossology and if you scroll down in the readme section, you will find different uh, ways uh, with which you can install Fossology. One of the popular way is to use Docker. Uh, we also support Vagrant based installations. Uh, or the installations from the Debian uh, packages which are available under the release page for uh, each of the releases uh, Fossology has. From here you can download the dev files and do a dpkg install. Uh, the other way is to use uh, installation from source. So for that I'll head over to the wiki for our documentation uh, over here on the right, you will see install from source. Uh, if you just head over there, uh, there is a guide uh, which will take you through the steps for installing Fossology from source. So uh, for the first step, uh, we would require to install all the dependencies uh, which Fossology needs. So um, first of all, you would need to set up git and clone the Fossology project so which I have already done here on the machine then you would require LSB release command so on Debian based systems it comes as a LSB release package and on Fedora Red Hat based systems it comes as a Red Hat LSB package so since I am on Ubuntu machine I am going to install LSB release from apt So I uh, already have this package installed on my machine. So we can proceed with the installation with the script. So with all the scripts in Fossology, we have a handy help guide, uh, which lists out all the flags. So for this script, uh, just for the sake of completeness, I'm going to use the everything uh, flag over here which installs my runtime and the build time dependency. Uh, so even if you omit it, it is the default option. So I'll do for everything and I don't want to prompt uh, answer yes for every prompt. Uh, I'll also give the Y flag. So this will make sure all the dependencies are there which are not there, uh, it will be installed, uh, which includes your Apache web server Postgres database and the PHP runtime. Uh, along with PHP, it will also install Composer for uh, the PHP dependencies we have. So right now it's installing all the libraries and the script is done. So now I have all the packages uh, which are required to compile and run Fossology. So we'll proceed with the next step from the guide, uh, which is to run May which will build uh, the Fossology. So let's call make from our root folder. And this will start compiling all the various uh, components and agents which are there in Fossology. So if you head over to the SRC folder inside Fossology, you can see the various modules and if you head over to any of the module, again, you will find a directory structure where you will have an agent folder which contains the source code of the agent. Uh, then all the tests will be under agent test. There will be a UI folder for the UI components for that specific agent. And some might even have UI test folder uh, which contains the test for the UI component only. For that particular agent. Uh, by doing so, Fossology provides you a flexibility to compile just a single uh, module you are working on if you are making some changes in the source code. So you can simply do a build, uh, let's say copyright over here, and this will just compile the copyright and it will be finished very uh, fast. So as you can see, uh, our build is currently compiling the Nomos agent, which is going to take a while. 
so i'll pause here and we'll resume once all the binaries have been built so my compilation has finished uh, there were few warnings but we can see safely ignore them and head over to the next section which is installation of fossology so for that you can simply call make install from the same folder and make sure to run it with the root privileges because this will copy the binaries to their uh, their actual destination uh, destination folders and also fix the permissions um, so while this is uh, running um, maybe if you are on a machine which does not has an internet access uh, with uh, that will cause issues with the composer dependencies so uh, there is also a install offline method as 3.1 uh, where you can download the composer dependencies in a separate machine with the internet access uh, tar everything up in a in a single archive and transfer it to the desired machine and then run the sudo make install offline which will skip the composer package installation and then you can untar everything and uh, fix the permissions so there is also a provision to do that in fossology so yeah right now everything is installed uh, successfully also my composer packages have been installed uh, you see there is nothing to install or update since i have already done it recently uh, and there are few warnings but they are safe to be ignored so once everything is done um, you will have to uh, run another script which will create the fossy user in the linux machine and also set up the postgres database so you can again see the help for it uh, there are various options which you can customize as per your need but uh, right now i am going to go with the default action uh, i don't want to change any anything for this script so if i simply execute it it will set up my database uh, if you are doing it for the first time you might see uh, various uh, messages where it set up the tables in the database but now it is done for me so this will also create the fossy user in your machine um, also set up the apache uh, configuration which is required for fossology to be run on your uh, local host so after this step uh, you can log in to fossology with your default password which is fossy uh, and the default user fossy so i can head over to localhost slash repo uh, i have fossology up and running i can go ahead and do fossy fossy and i am logging to the fossology instance which i have just installed uh, after this there are few more steps involved uh, so this is the front end which is there but my scheduler daemon is still not running so for that if you are on system d you can run this particular command or if you are on system v you can run this since i am on ubuntu 18.04 I am going to run the system cutl command and enable fossology. So now on each is restart of the machine, fossology will be uh, started as well. And also while I am here, I'll start the daemon itself. So my daemon is up and running. Uh, I can also verify it from the UI under the admin section. Uh, sorry I, uh, you can go to scheduler and check for the status it should show one daemon running and if i scroll down there are few more configurations um, you can do to tune your machine uh, this is again a well documented uh, wiki where you have various ways to tune your machine for the disk space uh, email notification kernel uh things also for the postgres uh, optimization then if you scroll here 
this is a uh, important step which i would recommend to you to do uh, because php by default ships with a uh, 2 mb of upload limit which is not very good for uh, the use so you can simply copy this script uh, and run it so this will uh, set up various things uh, set up your memory limit upload limit and the time zone so now if i come here in my ui and go to upload i should see 700 mbs of upload are allowed now on this machine so yeah uh, that would be pretty much it you can read more for how you can tune your apache and even postgres and there is also a wiki uh, denoting how you can use charoot environment to install fossil g if you don't want to do it on your current linux machine so thank you for joining have a good day